If you are seeing more people wearing masks while outside the past couple of days, there's a reason for that. Pennsylvania's Governor Tom Wolf and the CDC are recommending that people wear cloth masks when they're in a public place. KDK's Rick Dayton and his wife Jenny show us how to make them. Some people are just naturally helpers. If you've had eighth grade home ec and you can make a pillowcase, you can make this pattern. Nationwide, people who sew have been making protective masks, often from supplies they already have. It's two pieces of fabric and two pieces of elastic. There are many patterns online, including one from the Turban Project. These fabric masks are what the CDC terms a crisis option in that they can be washed, sterilized, then reused. Even if you haven't sewn in a while, they're easy to make. Cotton and flannel and elastic and thread and basic sewing supplies. Now I have three pieces of cotton and I'm going to cut three identical pieces of flannel. I have some eighth inch and a quarter inch elastic and I'm going to cut them into seven inch pieces. So now I'm going to take a piece of flannel and a piece of cotton, put the right sides together and then I'm going to put the elastic between the right sides and pin it in place. This is what goes around your ear. And I'm going to sew right around, all the way around, and stop at this pin. So this will allow me to turn it right side out. After going around the outside edge, which tacks down the elastic, she turns the mask inside out and trims the corners. Then three pleats are added and temporarily pinned in place. Then it's back to the machine to go around the border two more times and you're done. You don't have to look very far on the internet to find people who are sewing hospital gowns, teddy bears for first responders, um, quilts for American veterans. Showing there are many ways to provide comfort with a little help from your sewing machine. Rick Dayton, KDKA News.